Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with the next topic in this training session which is on the security table. So in this training session we'll be looking at the most common security tables in SAP system. So we'll see the tables which are basically starting in say the tables like starting with USR, starting with AGR, starting with UST. Basically these are the tables which has the information about the logon specific data, the user data, the profiles, the roles, etc. So USR02 is one of the most important table which has the information for the logon data. There are other tables like AGR underscore users which has roles assigned to users, AGR underscore prof which has the roles uh, profiles assigned to users. So let's get into the table where we are, we'll see about the USR02 two first. So we are in SC16 transaction with table called USR02. Okay, so here you can see this is the list of the entries in the table. We are in the table name USR02. Okay, so basically it, if you just type USR02 it will give you the list of the tables. So let's select the relevant tables. As this table has lot of fields so we are selecting only the relevant fields here only the fields which make sense or which is required for our training so we have selected just a couple of fields like b name the the name the validity date the, the period the account number okay the logon data so let's click on execute so here you can see only the relevant field let's click on the watch symbol which will show you the list of the entries in that table Okay, this table here it is showing the information about the name, okay, the change date, the class, the U flag. U flag is basically the information about the whether the user is locked or not. Okay, then other information which is in the numeric format. So here you have seen the information about the users basically the logon data for the user is shown here. Okay, so let's go back and see the other tables like USR04 where we have the users by authorization profile assignment. Then we have USR05 which has users by user parameters. We have user by user 10, USR10 which has the information about profiles with authorization that is EGR underscore 1251. Then we have EGR underscore 1252 which has the information about organizational data for roles. Okay, then we have EGR underscore users which is also pretty important table which has the information about roles which is assigned to users. EGR underscore prof which, which is basically the profile defined for users. EGR underscore hierarchy is hierarchy basically the menu of a role. Now let's see these tables we have seen USR02. Okay, so let's see the AGR, some of the AGR table that is AGR underscore 1251 which has the information about the authorization data for roles. Okay, so I'll just click on execute. Okay, this will show me the entries in the table AGR underscore 1251. Here you can see the AGR underscore name, the object, the attribute, the variant, the field. Okay, so this is what is the information present in this particular table. So, so we have seen AGR underscore 1251 table which has the information about authorization data for roles. Now let's see the authorization data, organizational data for roles. Okay, and we have seen other tables like AGR underscore users which is has the information about the roles assigned to a particular user. So let's go to that table, let's click on the back arrow. Okay. Now let's click on the back arrow one more time. Now we are in the SE16 screen. Now let's type the user, basically the table name AGR underscore users. Okay, click on execute. You will see the different fields name. I'll just click on execute without selecting a specific field. Okay, the execute is on the green watch that you saw. Okay, now in this screen you can see the EGR name. Okay, then you have 
the information so basically you, here you can see the the other information is about the roles which is assigned to the users okay so we have seen the information about agr underscore users okay so the next table is agr underscore prof which stores the profiles defined for users agr underscore have which is basically for the menu for a role then agr underscore time which is basically the change time for a role so basically these are the three important users user types okay now let's see the info types info types basically stores the information related with the hr data for example address of an employee is stored in a an unique info type triple zero six similarly we have different info type to store different data like personal data is triple zero two bank details triple zero nine basic salary triple zero eight etc so you can see that different info type is storing different type of information some info types are further divided into subtypes for example the address here we have the subtypes like permanent address the temporary address the emergency address the mailing address etc info types are relevant from a security standpoint as sap provides standard authorization objects which allow us to secure info type subtypes combination for users the first thing to note from the above example is that all of them are attributes of a person you store attributes of a person that is salary of a person the bank details of a person however info type can just as well store information about hr data as well that is the data about the position of a person the job details of a person the tasks that need to be performed by a person so basically this is about the different types of hr data which can be which is stored in the info type and let's see the next aspect which is about depending on the type of the info type which is stored for the person or for the hr object we can divide them into two different info type basically first is the personal administration that is attributes of a person second is personal planning which is the hr object related information so pp info type basically the personal planning are referred to as info type for organizational management or personal development the distinction between pa and pp info type is important for security as the two types of info types are secured by means of different authorization object so each info type is associated with unique four digit number so basically we have grouped them or mapped them these information type that is the info types for object in different categories that is from 0000, 000 to 0 999 it's stored in personal administration okay from 1000 to 1999 that is 1999 in for personal planning pp 2000 to 2999 time management which also falls under pa that is personal administration 4000 to 4999 is recruitment specific data which is under pa then from 9000 to 9999 is customer specific basically it can store either pa or pp data okay now let's get into the system to see how we query these fields how these fields look like so let's go to a transaction code called pa20 we can go to pa30 as well but let's go to pa20 to see the hr specific data for an info type okay let's type the t code pa20 let's click on enter and you will be seeing the data about basically the master data for the personal that is the master data hr master data so basically we can specify the personal number over here and it will show you the information about the basic data that is the information about the personal data the address the planned working time the basic pay etc so this is the this is the information about the basic data then let's get to the payroll data where we have the basic pay the accruals the cost distribution the bank details the payroll status etc then let's go to the time data basically it is about the planned working time the absences the attendees the information about the availability the time quota compensation etc then in the next tab where we can specify the additional information like the travel package 
Okay, etc. Then let's go to the tax data where we can see the information about the residence tax area, the work tax area, the unemployment state, the withholding tax, etc. Okay, so basically this is what I wanted to cover in this particular training session. Thank you for joining and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mm,